All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be uh, doing another fall talk trip today. And uh, it's been pretty good this fall, so I got some high expectations for this trip. We're gonna be trying a brand new area I never took before. Um, see if we can't get into something here. Uh, I already got my area that I want to fish picked out on a map and hopefully it translates well to a fish, but that's up to the fish and not me. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, same deal, it's gonna be jigs with uh, cut crab on it, the bait, and uh, yeah, I mean, very simple fishing. Not gonna get any big fish today. Don't need to kill the big ones, they're old, so I've already had my fun this year and uh, nice that I've caught a big fish already for the tournament that I'm in and that makes it a lot easier for me to go out and uh, try to spot and not bang up on the big fish in my uh, big fish spot so all right guys we're gonna get out there pick up some crabs and uh, get to work I'll see you out there all right guys so I was gonna go back over this because I, uh, I don't think I've done it since the spring um, the bait today is green crab cut green crab on a jig head um, I'll show you how I prepare mine. This works out really well for me. Uh, it's the only way I fish crabs. Uh, and it's done really well this year. So, I mean, why change it if it's, uh, if it's working, right? So all you gotta do, take a pair of scissors. Uh, take off all the legs. All right, so now you just lift the body. Put that green crab right down the center. And that's it. Uh, these scissors here, guys, are the best scissors I've found for cutting crabs. They're uh, the chicken shears, but what makes these things work so well, besides the fact that they're spring-loaded, is that where the thumb hole would be, it's just post. And you get so much more leverage out of it, and after a day of cutting crabs, you're not getting absolutely bruised around your, your knuckle on your thumb. Um, these things are by far the best crab cutters I've ever seen. Um, I got a link for these in the description if you guys are looking to get a pair for yourself. Um, if you buy it to that link, I get a little commission. It's nice, but it's up to you guys. Um, I use lima bean jig heads. Um, I know a lot of guys like those jig heads that are uh, painted up nicely to look like a crab shell or whatever, or they're, you know, it is what it is. A jig head's a jig head. It just delivers this bait to the fish. Chartreuse is the color I use. Any color works. Um, you just want to have a nice sharp hook and that's really the most important part of it. Um, so then you take this hook, go through that socket for the claw, and then you just come out somewhere down by the base, one of the back legs. And uh, you don't have to, but I like to remove that back shell. Lots of scent gets in the water. And that's, that's it. It's a really, really simple rig. Uh, I tie direct. I've lost fish to the uh, those tactical clips, you know, opening up or flipping around and losing fish on it. So I don't do those anymore. Uh, it works. The nice thing about lima bean jigs, though, is that if you were to um, lose your bait, if you snap the jig pretty quickly, you'll feel this thing flutter in the water on your rod. And uh, even if I'm fishing 50 feet deep, is that when I get picked clean, I know I'm picked clean, and I can reel it up, and rebait. There's no thinking that there might be a piece of crab left. So that's why I really do like these lima bean jig heads. Uh, they tell you when the, there's nothing on the hook and I mean, they work, they work really well. First one of the day, that's a nice one. There we go. Yeah, it's nice when a plan works out, I guess. It's um, kind of a strange bite. Uh, it took about 
15 minutes to get my first black sea bass and then <laughs> three minutes later I finally get my first tog and it's a nice one so well uh hopefully this this keeps up There we go. Is this a snag fish or? What do I got going on? Nice snagged one. <laughs> it's not a huge one, but boy, when you snag them like that, they, they certainly feel big. Still a nice fish. That's another under 21. Ah, that's a nice fish though. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful colors on it. It's about a 20 inch fish. Maybe, uh, no, probably 19. Could this be my last keep at a lemon me out? Let's see. Yep. I think it is. Uh oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Finch fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a legal one. 16 and a quarter. You know what? The way today's going, I don't count the litters out here. We'll harvest this last fish. It's all blown out, anyways. So, hey, that's it. That's my limit. Five blackfish, and uh, that's yeah, not bad. This is the tug or not. It must be. Why are you open? There, bring it back. 
back to the side where the net is. Oh, that's a nice talk. There we go. Big female. Yeah, 20, 21 inches, something like that. Nice and thick girl. All right, let's get her back. It's a nice fish. Good fight on that one. I say, if you play that back, you'll see what I'm really doing is I'm just waiting for a, uh, a not the little quick little taps. I'm waiting for a more solid thud. You can really feel it in the rod, or you can sometimes feel that fish pick up with the uh, the bait and move around with it. And you know, that's really when you want to set the hook on these fish. Um, comes with time, you know, setting these. Oh, getting good at setting these hooks in these tog. Wow. A little better than I thought. Well, that's a really nice fish. Ah. Keep him out of the net. There's no reason to net him. Jesus. See what he's eating here. It's a uh, white legged crab. I know that's kind of gross, but then you can see what these fish are eating down there in this deeper water. It's a rock crab. Oh. See you later, buddy. That was over 21. Um, not trying to keep anything, like I said, big, and I already got my limit, so that's even better. I got a limit already of uh, five fish. They're all small ones, small keepers, which are good eating and uh, not old fish you know so not as old fish so yeah That's another keeper, and uh, it's just a thin, thin keeper. A couple of really thin fish today, surprise. There we go. Just big head shakes. It's not going to be a monster, but it's going to be a quality fish. Oh, it's a sea bass. Yeah. And welcome aboard. That's a that's the type of sea bass you want to see in the ow in the fall. You catch so many of these little ones that when you get these nicer ones, they really do stand out. I mean, it's even still got a little bit of a hump head on it. Uh, it's a nice 18 inch, 19 inch fish. Probably 18. Just beautiful. And good eating.
fish. Very thick fish. one too. It's not a nice heat, we're gonna swim. That gold. guys that's a wrap uh, started out really slow and I didn't think I was gonna do much for the day uh, and I ended up getting that uh, limit at the end probably I don't know maybe five or six more keepers too um, I mean today was an exploratory trip I'm really just trying to find new spots uh, you never know we're gonna stumble across your next honey hole so it was good. It was good. Fish deep today. I was fishing like 50 feet of water. Uh, water temp still kicking pretty high at 61 degrees. Um, that's really it. There's not much more to say. A couple of my keepers that I got at the beginning of the trip, I uh, probably have to revert to this camera because the head camera was uh, off. So if they make it in, you'll see a different camera angle for those. But might have enough who knows to not put them in uh if you guys like what you see like subscribe comment and uh if there's anything i can do to change these videos up make you guys like it more let me know i'm always open to ideas so all right guys you have a good day and i'll see you guys in the next one